Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 59 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. Today, after an extended break and numerous disruptions and delays, I'm finally able to play the High Life DLC five days after it originally released. So without any further delay, let's just begin. So here we are in our currently ongoing campaign. We are now presented with the option to activate the High Life DLC. I thought we could read the summary, although I'm probably the last person to get this information. Towering new skyscrapers and panoramas, shopping arcades, selling products from homeware, furniture, and pharmacy patents developed by you. And don't forget the brand new Skyline Tower Monument, Anno's highest ever structure. Let's go. Alright, we have the option to now choose easy, medium, or hard. We've largely been going with a sort of a medium hard. I think I originally said medium rare style playstyle here in the beginning of the series, so we're gonna go with hard. 1900 coins to, up, uh, to upkeep. A skyscraper at level one. I'm fine with that. Let's go. Now, just right here at the beginning, I have to drown out this lovely new music. Uh, I thought I would just address where I've been, what's been going on. So basically, right before the High Life came out, I decided to take a little bit of a break, about a week break before the DLC was scheduled to come out. And I was thinking, like, oh, I'll probably get sent it. I can work on a review, and then once everything's ready and good to go, we'll kick up back up the Let's Play. Like, you know, the day comes out and continue on. But unfortunately, I wasn't actually sent it. Still no real word on why that is, but whatever, that's fine. And then when it actually came out, I played it for about one hour, and then, because it came out late in the evening, so it was like 6 or 7 p.m. when I got it, played it for about an hour, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll play this again in the morning, I'll, you know, work on the review, get the Let's Plays going, and everything's gonna be great. Next day rolls around, and the DLC doesn't work. It's, like, appears to be, like, removed from my account or something, and I was like, jeez, am I, like, super blacklisted or something? But no, it turns out loads of people had this issue with Ubisoft Connect. It was not a me issue. I shouldn't be so narcissistic and vain. It was just an issue a lot of people were having, uh, although somewhat, somewhat rare, but a decent amount of people were mentioning that it was occurring and they had to do various updates, restarts, and stuff like that to get it, to get it going again. So I leave it a day. The next day, my internet goes for a full day. The next day, I get food poisoning, <laughs> and I was like really out of action. And then the next day, it was my girlfriend's birthday. So we were out on the town, let's say. So I wasn't working that day. So here I am, five days later, playing it basically for the first time. I've played one hour so far and did, I'll be honest, did very little in that one hour. I saw one skyscraper go up to level one and I built elevators. That was it. So I'm really coming into this completely fresh. I don't really know much about it. I didn't look up much stuff. I basically just kind of had Twitch on in the background to get some uh, drops in order to get the little uh, ornaments in the game. And that's it. I, you know, so glancing over, I saw the odd skyline and what things look like, but I actually don't know how things play. So I'm very eager and excited. Uh, despite all these interruptions and disruptions, I'm very excited to actually get started and play properly. The only other thing I will say is my settings file was completely wiped and my save was deleted. Um, the, the review save that I splintered off. For a lot of people, it seemed to come back for them. Mine didn't. So you'll actually see, even while we're playing, lots of weird stuff is going to be happening. And some of the settings are wrong. I have to actually restart the game after this. Uh, I can't zoom out my camera as much as I used to be able to. And all my hotkeys have to be redone. So it's been a been a bad experience really I hate to say it but it has and uh, I'm sure it's not really the developers fault but it's obviously it's just like a Ubisoft thing I guess anyways uh, so without further delay let's jump in now one thing I got to do is I got to deliver steam motors to uh, uh, the island of Lusk so I'm just gonna try to do that really quickly but we're probably gonna get messages straight away as soon as we let time play so let's just do this as fast as I can if I just get this ship here you gained an influence bonus send that to Lusk that should be all right. All right, that's really all I need to do. All right, cool. Let's let time play. Captain of Industry. There we go. Going up. Soaring skyscrapers and cloud-shrouded towers, elevators and iron frames set to revolutionize the skyline of tomorrow. Onwards and upwards go the citizens of our great cities. Bonus. Fueled by the burgeoning retail market, shopping arcades, and shoppers with money to burn. To say I didn't think it possible. I have no idea who she is. Or what that's about. First elevators, now metal frames. Skyscrapers are key to this city's otherwise worthless future. Sky's the limit, I'd say. A business venture ripe for the both of us. Sorry, you've probably heard of me. Donald Bader, call me Donnie. Donnie. They say don't brag, but who has time to be coy? <laughs> I'm the best investor this city has, apart from you, of course. My guru. He sort of looks like, like my brother or something, you know? 
I know a thing or two about construction investments, and let me tell you, elevators and skyscrapers are on the rise. I can offer insider info, if you like. Absolutely. Help me out, Donnie. Alright, tutorial going up. Build the assembly line for elevators. For skyscrapers, you need elevators, and elevators are produced in the assembly line, a new multi-factory. Alright, so, it's gonna take steel, veneers, and steam motors. Like I said, all our steam motors are over in Crown Farms. That's why I'm just pulling a boat, a ship with a bunch of them on there over to Lusk right now. Although, it will take a while to get there. Assembly line elevators, and that's because on the island of Lusk itself, which I guess we can take a look at, I don't actually have... What is this? Power lines? <laughs> look at it, it's... Like I said, the settings, it's like it completely forgets that I've even played the game. I was getting messages about how to use oil. <laughs> But, oh well, I guess we'll just have to live with it. I don't know how to fix that. Um, yeah, so this island doesn't actually really produce steam motors. Uh, yeah, we have yeah. just enough to go into this building here to make our steam carriages. Oh yeah, there we go. She's talking about oil now. So for steam carriages, but we have an excess of steam carriages. So I'm, we're, un how could I put this? This building has a higher demand for steam motors than we produce, but it's still more than we need. So I've actually never really fixed that. But turns out now we're going to need them if we want to make this, which is elevators. Elevators are the construction resource needed to make um, skyscrapers, I guess. All right. A colleague builds a device to compute so anything. So I was thinking what I could do. This is basically what I did before was I got rid of this building. This is a weapons facility, I guess, or whatever, factory. We don't need that. And we have 3,000 weapons stored, so I think it's fine. Let's get rid of that. We'll just scoot this over. So we can have a regular production of uh, steam motors coming in here without having to bring them from Cape Trelawney. All right, let's just move that there. Just clear this area. A little bit of excess space. And can I put it there? No, it's not in room of the or in view of the trade union here. So we'll just have to keep it quite close by. And just put that little path behind it. There we go. All right, so now we've got two of them. So that's obviously a bigger demand on steel and a bigger demand on brass. Stand to attention for the boss. But I think we've actually got way too much steel. I anticipate going into deficits. We'll fix it when, when I come across those problems. I don't want to keep my head buried in the statistics screen uh, too much, at least early on. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was move the concrete factory away. Just pop that out here for now. And then here, we've got three marketry workshops. I'm going to build two more. So there's one there, one there. This one, we can look at the stats for this. So this is an intermediate... Marketry Workshop would currently make 11 veneers and consume 10. So I think when we activate the elevators, it's an ele one elevator every 15 seconds. It's pretty fast. So that's going to be a pretty big demand. So it's four tons per second uh, in terms of what you need for veneers, right? So I think two more of these is what we need. It might be three, but I think it'll be two. Let's just go with two. Because they're, they're heavily being boosted here if we keep it in range. Let's just check that out in the statistics screen. So it's another intermediate. So that'll put us up to 18. Uh, so that's kind of like seven more than we had. And we kind of needed eight. So I don't know. It might not be enough, actually. But we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. Another one would definitely be overkill. But um, we'll see how it goes. Now that's going to take raw wood, which we'll, I guess we'll get from this. There's another dependency on steel. Our whole economy is built on steel uh, on this um, Docklands for Lusk. A lot of it for gold, I guess, as well, which you could use, but we'll keep it at steel for now. Let's increase this to... Uh, I don't know. 1300? Thir something like that? Obviously, if it's too much, it'll be fine. If it's too little, we'll see the problem. Uh, okay, so that should sort that out. So that's extra... And maybe upgrade these warehouses. They're gonna be busy. So that's gonna be extra veneers, extra steam motors, but no extra steel. So hopefully that's just okay. Now, coincidentally, this road actually fits the assembly lines quite perfectly. And it is coincidentally. I didn't know any of this. Obviously, Our I didn't get sent the game, so I didn't know anything. Time to get production off the ground. Beforehand. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if they're affected by, um... If they can be affected by trade unions. They do light up when you put them in range of Done. one. Time to get the elevators up and running. People want better views. Why not turn a typical residence into your very first skyscraper? So I was going to say, even the chemical factories, which were multi-factories that don't take benefits, do light up as well. So, I don't know. I, I guess I'd have to check. 
Anyway, so tutorial, reach for the skies, upgrade to a skyscraper, an engineer residence, and an investor residence. This was a big surprise to me, even booting up the game for the first time. I had no idea that you could do it to inve or engineers. I thought it was an investor-only thing. Um, so it was a big surprise. Or, or at least maybe right before the DLC came out, I heard that. Uh, so here we can go and check the parts that are needed. We can make elevators, biscuits, and typewriters. I assume those are not the types of biscuits I'm thinking of. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so let's have a look. Elevators, an engineering marvel that makes every new feat of skyward construction possible. I say, imagine having to take the stairs 50 stories. Here's hoping the bellboy oh, isn't rude. What a namby pamby artisan does a day. Money, bourgeois milk sops. Yeah, milk sops. The muzak is innocuous. The elevator, and you were trapped so in there for three days with a dishcloth ambitions. salesman. The sky's empty, so we fill it. We'll be kings in no time. Donnie wants to build towers with you. It's a bit weird. Like I said, kind of like my uh, my ugly brother. <laughs> well, maybe my more handsome brother. It's not grilled, Dan. Nice looking buildings. Quite quite tall in in and of themselves, right? They're quite quite big boys. I guess they would be to test the elevators, maybe. I don't I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> but, Assume maybe. Uh, so we've made one. We've made our first elevator. There it goes. That's another one probably actually going into storage. Yep. Now we have two. Sweet. All right. They're doing their thing. Uh, so once we, I don't know. I think I can't remember how much it is. Let's see. So if we were to upgrade Very an investor, thinking. we need five. Oh, you need a bunch of construction materials as well, of course. What is this? We now have a museum. Yes. Yes, we do. Thank you. Um, right, so, five for that. What about an engineer, I think, is less. Engineer's only two, so yeah, we can make quite a few. Uh, well, I guess ultimately we have to make one of each, so we'll need seven. So when we get seven, we'll just bring them with us. Hey, we got new music. Now, while I'm waiting on that, we have ships here not doing anything that we can um, give them items. Ready. Is that battleship here yet? No. Not that it matters now, really. New orders. I made a mistake, actually. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. stations. All right, cool. So that's two ships ready to go. I. Let's send this one back up to Archibald see if we can get extra items. All right, cool. Yeah, we're just a bit low on those steam motors right now. But once we get that delivery, we'll kickstart that economy and get going with all the construction material. Um, so I guess if we just have a little zoom out, we can find out where that battleship is and see how long we have until it gets here. No, it should be here by now. Idle ships? Oh, there it is. It's coming in extremely slowly. Battle path set. All right, let's go pick up our first uh, batch of ele elevators and do our first upgrade. Come Sorry, on, just thinking if I forgot anything else. I don't think so. Four. Well, we need—we kind of need seven, so I'm gonna wait till we get seven to make that first journey. So I guess I'll speed up time. Seems like the right time to do it. Ah, my speed up and speed down buttons have changed. Aha! Let's see if I can just go fix that in the controls really quickly. It must be something I forgot to do. Uh, increase game speed. Yep. And decrease game speed. Alright. I have a... I used to have a keypad and a numpad on my keyboard, but now I just have a 10 key less keyboard. So I actually can't use numpad controls. New orders. Uh, but anyway, speed time up just like that. So that's the first batch for the investor, and then we just need two more for the engineers. That's a thousand workers, actually. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Stations. For one assembly line. 
And the fact that we make them every 15 seconds. Come on, Battleship. Where are you? Taking forever. Nice, thick 150 steam motors, though. And we'll, I'll probably just set up a delivery to go between islands. Not with the Battleship, with one of these other ships, I guess. Engines underway. All right, there we go. They shouldn't be running out of that anytime soon. All right, so you can go back to Crown Farms, do your thing. You can grab that other one. Off you go, up to Swords. Going to begin the turn. build our first skyscrapers. And then this ship, See? Turned out good. which we'll call the... Just the motor. Going to make a, a new trade route in Cape Trelawney, starting with Crown Farms. And then going to the Old World of Lusk and picking up... Basically, a bunch of um, steam motors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and we'll just call it steam imports. Cape to the old world. Steam. All right, there we go. A bit of busy work. I would have done that before the episode, but I just thought it was important to kick off the episode when you activate the DLC and see all that stuff. Um, but yeah, had I known what you needed beforehand, I guess I could have done that. Um, anyways. New orders. We're already there. Seven elevators, just like that. So let's just head back down here, get ready for the next batch that's going to be made. Now we can speed time, slow time back down. Alrighty, um, so originally, when I first went through my first hour playing this, I had upgraded houses along here. My idea was that these would all be really big high-rises, but I guess the way this works, and I'll explain that now, is you have to kind of upgrade them next to each other in a weird way. You sort of need two layers in order to be able to complete what's called a panorama effect. Um, so I might end up moving these and deciding on things a bit later. I still haven't seen like a tier 2 or tier 3 uh, level of skyscraper, so I'm very new to it. But let's just do this one first. Upgrade skyscraper. Let's go. So proud we laid the first stone. Keep it up. Plenty of real estate up there. My rivals are trying to keep pace, which is so funny to me because they're all failures. And then we'll do something like this ah, one. Oh. Yes. Shopping arcades, heralding a new era of consumerism. Time to welcome eager patrons into the halls of luxurious promise. Shopping arcades are a new building type. They act like public services, but they consume input goods. The input goods required depend on the chosen design patent. Start with the department store. So it's very similar, right? I mean, it's really, really, really similar to the tourism DLC so far. You have multi-factories. Didn't know we still had the blighters. You've got your multi-factories that you can change recipe of what they take in. And then instead of restaurants that consume I know the waiters goods, personally. we now have a an arcade which consumes goods and gives a, a benefit. Very, very similar mechanics. Um, so to make a department store, select the toasters and sustain that across the area for a minute. Um, damn, I was just going to look at something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So why am I out of chocolate? What the hell happened there? Bear with me one second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, actually, let's check the statistics first. So, chocolate. Consumer all good chocolate. Yeah, we make loads. 23 produced, 14 consumed. Although, a lot of them are offline. Hmm. Chocolate is almost exclusively made on this island. And I think they're made here. We are out of room. Oh. Out of room, you say. We can have an orchard too, finally. Yep. Um, hmm. All right, let's have a look at the chocolate route then. So in the new world. That's odd. Does it never get picked up? My therapist says money matters dominate middle age. Ah, we have a specialty route, that's why. The Cadbury. And it's going to Marbella, picking up chocolate, delivering to Lusk, then to Crown Farms. I see. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. What about New World Chocolate Exports? So that's going back to Lusk as well. Strange. Okay, that's going to need a rework. But uh, what we can do is just slam on maybe one or two more ships to speed these guys up and get chocolate not failing. So we'll just put that one on and uh, maybe another one as well. Chocolates. 
so I'll accept that for now, and then we'll just click this, go to the ship. Cargo boat at the ready. Get your thing, get your guy, off you go. Alright, that should help. So that's a specialty route, and it pretty much exclusively comes from that island of Marbella. I was just thinking, do we need to upgrade a pier here and switch it to chocolate only? I don't think there's much traffic, I don't think it's a problem. So no. Good. Alright, well that should solve that. Once the investor is grown fully again, which I'm sure it will in just any minute, if not already. Yeah, it's just sputtering a little bit, sputtering a little bit. Uh, while we're waiting for that, uh, in my review, and this is basically as far as I've gone now, is I built the arcade here. Because for the review, it doesn't really matter where I make it put anything, I guess. I was just testing the gameplay. I have a feeling this park is not going to last, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to keep it here, so let's try this again. And we can obviously change this in future if we want. But just to get moving, getting some, some things planted down and seeing how things work, it'd be nice to place it here. So, department store. It's a shopping arcade. It can make a toaster, a vacuum cleaner, crockery, refrigerator, or briefcase. It takes 240 artisans to make. And it very nicely fits here. Which way would be a good way to face it? This way? Or that way. I like this way. Behold! The Galleria Banneret! Now, sacred halls have to have product worthy of worship. Get the suckers leaving with their arms full. When selecting you know, your oh. catalog is pretty skinny. It's okay. Donnie has some ideas to fatten it up. I already put notes in the margins. Is there different Your ship has building? returned from its voyage. Currently, it's, this department store is not selling anything. Open the shopping I'm catalog so and choose a patent. For us. I've increased their voices, by the way. Hopefully, it's not too loud. It's just his one seems to be quieter than everyone else's. Um, toaster. So, that's going to take filaments, zinc, and steel. In principle, all shopping arcades act like public services, but they consume un input goods. Much like Browsing a restaurant. is the finest part. The way our wares present themselves is everything. We take great care. As long and as besides, the selected design once you've paid, all <laughs> virtue in them dies. As long as the selected design patent can be produced, it'll fulfill the skyscraper's residence need for the type of shopping arcade, no matter what product you've selected. The cherry atop our beautiful friendship cake. Alright, we're aware about all this. Make sure you have a warehouse nearby. Okay. Crikey. Aside from fulfilling the need for a department store, it also has a beneficial effect. So we get two happiness, five percent income. The workers. When I think a of negative ten percent struggle, I, have to turn, I know how turn that down. Turn that I way down. Negative ten percent to jewelry and negative fifteen percent to light bulbs. Okay, consumption. Now, one thing I actually don't know is if you build a skyscraper, does it increase the needs? of people living there. And I've never thought about this actually playing this the game. This city is a magnet for genius. Just generally. This is sure to please many customers. Uh, is that whether or not it matters a toaster! if more the people live in a trap. house. Pipe toasty smells out and put the suckers in mind of breakfast surrounded by family, childhood camping trips, all weak spots we'll target. Alright. It's gonna pause that for a second so I can get my thoughts out. So basically around this town hall <clears throat> excuse me around this town hall i think i've got like something like you know 20 more people living per household than you otherwise normally be able to fit in an engineer household and i've never really thought about it, but does that increase the amount of goods they consume or is it per household what they consume because let's say you have a house with one person living in it a farmer residence and it consumes like whatever amount of fish if that fills up to 10 does it consume more fish i never really thought about it i always thought it was per household but I don't know. But I guess I can try and measure that and find out. Um, these tips apply to shopping arcades. The green street overlay indicates where input goods can be fetched well, from. components of our vacuums are handmade, you know. The green street overlay indicates which skyscrapers will have a need for shopping arcade fulfilled, and the circle indicates which residents benefit from the current patent. So everything in the blue circle is what the modified modifier effect will give people when toasters are made. So it's like, oh, the negative 15 to light bulbs. The green street overlay indicates which skyscrapers will have the need for a shopping arcade fulfilled. Okay, so the 
Blue line is the modifier effect of buildings. The green line is where if this if this was a skyscraper, it would have its need fulfilled because it can get to the arcade. And then the green line also indicates where it can get stuff from. So if there was a warehouse here. Okay. This represents an extra ordinary breakthrough in the field. So we need filaments, steel, and zinc. Alright, we'll have to get cracking on that. Uh, we can upgrade this one now. Yeah, there we go. And that's it, guys. That's as far as I've gone. Everything's new territory for me. <laughs> um, Alright, so weak panorama effect. We'll have to learn about that soon. Sustain across the region. 70% of the department store for one minute. So let's get a ship going. God, my voice. I'm going to take a drink of water. Everything else is fine. Making lots of, um... What's it called? Uh, elevators now, so that's good. But I got the one idle ship. Oh, I might have to make some more. We're gonna need a lot more stuff, I would imagine. I'll just crank out two more. Um, all right, so New orders. you need zinc. You need a lot of random things. Let's create a route. Trade route. Uh, Lusk to Swords. This is going to be... I think it's called Lusk to Swords 8? We've got a lot of these, and it's going to stay in the Old World. We're going to assign our new ship 7. And then we're going to basically give it... Uh, let's see if I can remember. So it was raw materials zinc. Two lots of zinc. And this is only going to be consumed one per hour, one per minute. So that's a, basically an hour's worth of goods. You could maybe wait to unload or something with this kind of thing. It's a bit crazy if you want to deliver it all the time. Although if you just set limits, I guess it's fine. Anyways, um... Filaments. I got it. Alright, filaments. And then the next one... Come on, Darren, you can think of it. It was zinc, filaments, and... I have no idea. Alright, let me check again. It's the benefits of having a, a horribly fractured mind. It was steel. Okay. Um, and just while I'm doing this, you know me, I like to make these routes as confusing as possible. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I was going to add the um, construction resource on the second lap, but I don't want to do that. I'll just deliver it manually um, with... Actually, we have a construction trade route. I can just add it to that. Uh, all right, cool. That's done. Maybe... Wait to unload. Although that would block the thing. I'll just leave it, I guess. It's fine. All right, new ship seven. Boom. Lust of the swords. So we'll call this the... The toasty. Is that how you spell toasty, or is it I-E? I don't know. Uh, right, this ship can go pick up the Room elevators, so we can start to upgrade a few more things. And the toasty, did I give it... I... Oh, I didn't actually give it a propeller. Let's just do that really quickly as well. Cargo stations! Alright, off it goes. Only are reporting in. Good. Right, let's go get those elevators, make a manual delivery, and uh, get starting on building up more skyscrapers that can take effect. 124. Man, we're cranking them out now. On our way. Okay, good. All right, we're flying. <laughs> We're only, for like, 40 minutes in. Um, and about to make our first thing. I'm glad that it's using artisans. It's really nice, because we've always had too many of them. Uh, it looks like our range actually covers quite a lot. I wonder, does it affect scholar households? For certain things, like extra... Well, you don't make money on scholar A students, man could you? damn their soul for such... <sighs> Alright, good. Holy crap, look at the amount of people flitting out of here. Oh, we're sped up, that's why. 
I guess we could take a little mini walk around here, although the shops aren't open technically yet. Does it say what it has on? No. Oh, you can actually see through. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it's like the windows for the different things that they're selling, I guess. It is a, it is a weird looking building, if I'll be honest. It looks like scale-wise, it's off. Maybe all buildings look like that. I've never really thought about it, though, before. I guess so. I guess... Yeah, I guess so. I never really thought about that. Because I was just thinking, like, oh, it's only got, like, five windows, and it's supposed to be, like, a mall. But I guess it kind of makes sense that if the scales are a bit different. Golden Mall. Cool. Alright, and uh, fairly soon, our first delivery should come in of these three things. So we've got our filaments are already here, steel and zinc. Uh, let's just have a look really quickly in the shopping catalog. So we've got um, toasters. This fully automated breakfast machine is apparently calibrated perfectly for the toast that's just right. Simply pop in a slice, wait, and soon you'll smell the delightful scent of perfectly toasted bread. If you like your bread rare or well done, look elsewhere. <laughs> Special offer. Um, so we have vacuum cleaners. Crockery, refrigerator, and briefcase. So what do we get? We have... Do they all give... They give a bit of a happiness. This gives 16% income boost. It only weigh me to the bottom. This gives a 15%, 22%, and a 12%. Are these DLC? It needs Arctic gas, so yes. And this needs Embesen Sanga Cow, so yes. What about this one? This needs... Liqueur? Lacquer? Lacquer? Paint? Huh, haven't seen that. I assume that's this, this DLC. What does this mean? Celluloid? That's something new as well. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Better than you I have my it. attention. What do we have here? Chewing gum. Investor Scott's here. Oh yeah, I've totally forgot. Let's look at the ornaments. Can have a look at those too. Got some blank space out here. So what do we have? A small spotlight. Let's let time play. Let's just go to nighttime and see does it come on. Oh, it does. Nice. Uh, then we've got a large spotlight. Skyscraper model. Globe statue. A hot air balloon. Oh, yeah, I saw this in the trailer. I was wondering, like, how that operates. So I guess it just rises up and comes back down. That's cool. I wonder, does it do any movement? Um, a city fountain. What the hell was that? Oh, it's this. <laughs> Off you go. I had to delete the base and they can never get back. <laughs> nah, that's cool. So, like, oh dear god, they're not supposed to go that high. Our first hot balloon test was a complete failure. Our city fountain. This one looks nice. Oh, kids are playing inside of it. That's cool. Splash fountains. Oh, that's really cool as well. Dynamic. Oh wow, 14 different things. The combination. Nice, that's cool. And then we have a tower billboard. Advertising the Skyline Tower. And then white cherry pews, which I assume are just... The cherry blossoms just with no color. Yep. Basically. They have a green base to them. Do they have a green base? They have a white base. Okay, there's a little bit of a difference. And that's it. Alright. Yeah, some of these look quite nice. I like the hot air balloon. The fountains are cool. That fountain's awesome. The Skyline Tower Monument. Searchlights are cool too, actually. I gotta say, it's yeah, it's a good selection. Good selection. Toasters are selling fast. Imagine the profits if we had more types of products in our stores. We have the toasters made now, do we? There we go. Ship constructed. Estimated toaster sales. Oh, I see. One ton of toasters. Alright, cool. And those are all the houses that we're affecting. So we're not actually covering the investor's household. So this skyscraper has met its thing, and it can go up to 104 now. Perfect. So I have to drop off those uh, 
There we go. Extra Room elevators left. have been dropped off. So, any, what's next in the tutorial? So, maintain that. Sustain across the region. 70% of the department store supply for one minute. Well, we have it at 100%. So... Time oh, is to it? brew up tomorrow's trends. Oh, it's I'll because of this. I the see. Bubbles. This catalog will be bursting in no time, and with a fat profit. I take it you're not turning down the co-opportunity of a lifetime. Absolutely not, Donnie. All right, Knew let's take you'd it. be on board, a wise one. To kick oh, off, we have to invest in R&D. A board chore, but we delegate. Once we built them their lab, we can get on to the real stuff. I'm going to move a an arcade here, or place an arcade here so it covers the other building. I think I can get rid of four houses then. And with the building tall, we'll get that population back in no time. All right. Does it fit? It fits sideways. Kind of works because we can have it open up into the um, kind of open area here. Obviously, we're going to have to do a bit of a redesign of some of these areas. I have no idea where the tower monument's going to go or how big it is. But if it's even the same size as this, just in time for the order. I don't know. That's why I was saying it might have to go here. Uh, all right, we have another one. You can see because of the hill that there's way more steps leading up to this than there is on this one. Looks a bit funky. I understand why it has to be done though. But. There's no extra space for that now. Uh, we could turn this then to. What the hell is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. Holding shift, does it? Turns everything green. Except the skyscraper. Okay, I'm sure I'll learn. I'll leave it. Uh, but yeah, so I want to just change the look of this. Kind of make it look a bit more closed in. There we go. So we have our little cut through. The required permit to expand the campus. Doesn't quite make that much sense anymore, though. Alrighty, so they're making toasters as well just straight away. We should be delivering enough stuff that it's not a problem. So filaments, zinc, and steel. Just want to set a reserve limit on Lusk just in case we take too much. Uh, zinc, I don't think it needs a reserve to be honest, but let's just set a thousand reserve. Steel as well, gonna set a reserve of one thawi. And filaments. Hundred. Okay. Filaments, I think we'll probably need to bring in more through the Docklands. Uh, so maybe I'll just increase that as well temporarily. And then work out the numbers behind the scenes or in a future episode. An so explosion in one of your factories. Using gold. Just increase it from 360 to 420. You know why. So, oh yeah, I never went to the Arctic and fixed hey, that thing, did I? you have warmth in your igloo. That was weird, the way it did that green thing. Um, Alright, that was the only ruin. So, that should sustain so, that. So, we've done next? it. Nice. Surely, you weren't about to stop here. These skyscrapers can go even higher. And if they can, they should! Level value 1. So what does he want to do? Upgrade an engineer into... So the next one is Market Research the Lab. Obsessed with shopping arcades, promise of profit, Donald Bader tasks you with commandeering office space amid the ex existing engineer apartments for a so-called Market Research Lab. He wants to develop new patents there, or as he calls them, the needs for, of tomorrow. Upgrade an engineer residence into a skyscraper from its menu. And then the gazebo plaza is accessible within the investor construction Art tab. science. Elegant, beautiful... The gazebo in... Oh, I'll well, find out about that later. I don't see that yet. Uh, so upgrade to level two. So let's just get another engineer one, like he said. Boring! We're shaping the future of consume here. The outside's drab. Has to show off what happens inside. People like gardens, right? Slap a gazebo next to it. Okay. Got the amount of effect. Not too should be a breeze now for Miss Jenny, my house help here, to get to work. We do the big picture, she'll do the nitty-gritty. 
All right, there we go. Level two. Yes, Level the two details down aren't in my purview. One footnote. My name is Theodora, although Mr. Bader seems to prefer Miss Jenny. An honor to make your acquaintance. <laughs> what, is her last name Jenny or something? Miss Jenny, be a dear. I have a cup here with no coffee in it. Now, to business. Hey, Our first patent. You've earned the executive decision partner. What'll it be? All right. Create on any Surely skyscraper. A higher skyscraper surrounded by lower ones would provide the best panoramas of the city. Yeah, so I did see this. I haven't actually played it, but I saw this on a stream where people were saying, like, you have to stagger these so that they get the panorama effect. Skyscraper residents like to have an unobstructed panoramic view when looking out their windows. Having smaller skyscrapers around them supports the panorama effect. Skyscrapers that are taller or of equal height reduces the effect. The stronger the panorama effect, the higher the population will be in the skyscraper. That is kind of an interesting uh, take on building. That's why building in a line here won't work. Um, because I think you need three. So you need a second layer. Anyway, when you select the skyscraper, smaller skyscrapers are colored in green. Taller or equal height are colored in brown. Click on the question mark and blah, blah, blah. Okay? So that's... Oh, right, 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 right. So that's, the green is all the same height. I see. Okay. So create any two intense panorama. So we've got decent. So one, two, three, four. So that'd be three. Strong panorama. And then I think it would have to be this one. But just to test it, let's see, can it be this one? Oh, it can. Oh, so it doesn't actually, so this doesn't directly border it, you know, by traditional Anno standards. But it does. I wonder is it a connection effect then? Cool. And what about these guys? They have no panorama. Yeah. Really? Not even be next to a regular residence? I guess not. Okay. So it said create two intents. So how would I do that? This could go up a level, right? And then... Yeah, that would be two, I think. Let's try that now. I didn't even look at the cost of this. How much was that? It's still only two elevators. That's not that bad. I thought it would get ex exponentially more expensive as you go. I like them. I, it's a bit weird that they're like yellow, isn't it? And the other ones are red. I mean, I guess it's nice for diversity's sake to break up the city, actually. I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah. We could probably change how they look, actually. So. Oh, you can go from big, medium to... All oh, right. So I can't have a big tile on top of a little one. Which obviously makes sense. <laughs> but good to know. So, it's, okay. So you could have a little bit on a big bit. Ship constructed. I wonder do people stand on the top then or anything? Or you could just have a chonky chad the whole way up. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go like a two and a one. Why not? That's kind of yeah. That's kind of cool. All right, that breaks things up. And what about Control V? Oh, we can just totally change the style. Oh yeah. Cool. That's really cool. Loving it so far. All right. So that's two, and they go up to 164. So by default, we had 64. We've added 100 by leveling up twice. And this panorama is now decent. Because we got rid of the one that was intent, uh, that helped it be intense. But this would make it intense again, wouldn't it? Oh no, it's only strong. Oh wow. So now that one's intense. And this one's decent. So two more? Would that do it? A truly intense yes. panorama of the city. Reserve an apartment for me at the top. I'd love to be the envy of others. So that creates two intense panoramas. I can't imagine you can have much more than that, though. Two next to each other like that. Level value two. Smaller neighboring skyscrapers. So bonus income. Bonus residence, sorry. 25 per house. Because it's intense. And uh, income per house, 15%. Because of the intense panorama. 
So that helps offset, offset the... Oh, we're still losing money, though, here. So they're losing money. These are also losing money. Okay, then. Well, at least we did it. Um, so we completed that objective. The next one, higher and higher baby. Upgrade to level 2 skyscraper and investor. So they're full up now as well. Just just because they have the toasters. It's alright. Up to you Boom. how and where these towers grow. Just make them grow real high. So I now they need chewing gum. And they'll need biscuits. To get to the next level. So the level three. I don't know how many levels there are. Three? Four? Maybe four? I assume four because of the uh what else the is needed in the is assembly line? Marvel, I tell you. Oh yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? I like these ones just because they're they're like white to match the buildings below them. Let's shuffle through and see what else we got. Oh my god, that is such a beautiful looking building! Holy crap, I love it. What the hell is this? How is that a skyscraper? Did this just not like not load in or something? <laughs> oh. Did I zoom in too far? No. That was weird. Another bug, I guess. That's cool though. Look at the gold top to it. It's like a corner building. Yeah, it looks really nice. And then I guess what we could do is mess around with that and change the middle bits. So we can start with a two and then a one. Yeah. And it creates like little balconies for everyone. Yeah, nice. It's cool. Little modular system. Yeah. I liked, um, I don't know which one it was actually, but that one's actually pretty nice. We'll just leave it like that for now. All right. Market research. The patent. Choose a patent to research. My guru, here's a pitch. Here, yeah, sorry. Here, here's a pitch. Customers are demanding, but gullible. That's great for us. I'll have you think they want convenience, luxury, quality, but what they really want is to be led to what they want. We had them on toast with the toaster. I say exploit the moment. Use it. The suckers are salivating for a new gadget, so let's provide one. Cunning, right? Electrifying. Um, add another machine or I think the Galleria should be a place of glamour. We need something luxurious. Yeah, something luxurious, why not? Actually, that's a good point, I didn't even check the luxury options. Luxury, yes, my guru. We model the opulent lifestyle, and they'll labor under the illusion that they can have it all. If only they work hard enough. Hilarious. <laughs> what did you have in mind? The toaster numbers surely speak for themselves. Something culinary? Or something complimentary? People need more, or something to eat off of, or a high-end bag. No, 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 no. Compliment the toasters. Crockery! Yes, why reinvent the wheel when we can just slap a new coat of paint on it and sell it? Let's make it a staple piece. The good china for special occasions. They'll need to be of the finest material, of course. The more they break, the more we'll sell. Agreed to the crockery... A crockery... A staple <laughs> we can get in paint. cheap and ship out at a price. Miss Jenny, let's get us some blue inks and add the company logo. That's how I... they'll know it's genuine Bader. I just realized, are we getting more influence? Three. Very well, Mr. Bader. Two. I'll see to it. We are. I wonder will it go up to four when we get Stupendous. Well, 150. Partner, I'll be in contact once the lab have finalized the patent. Sweet. So we need to make chewing gum. Chewing gum. So that's gonna require sugar canes and uh, cinnamon. 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 But if you didn't have tourism, you wouldn't have cinnamon. I guess they've given this to people who own this as well. I understand a lot of people buy the seasons, but some people don't. Just from a design Bader, point of view, you have to um, account for people that might just buy one morning, DLC. Someone broke into the office. The paints the for the brand logo have been stolen. The paints for the brand logo have been stolen. You were out, Miss Jenny? I thought your work was your life. Well, but can you still continue our research? I'm afraid not. Without these materials, I cannot move forward with the prototype. 
prototype. Darn it, this is stalling us. Wasted time, wasted money. Miss Jenny, my partner and I will have to look at your salary, won't we? Okay, so I need Perhaps to get... Perhaps you can replace the missing goods, Guru. You know, keep up your side of the bargain. Not sure I trust Miss Jenny to do it on current form. Likely an eager rival trying to tweak his odds. I'm used to slander. It's part and parcel of the business. But that a peer should stoop to thievery. Embarrassing. Production will take time, so let's diversify our portfolio. The arcade could cater for the furnishing of empty office towers. We now have the required permit. Interesting. It's, so basically, it seems like you need at least 15 skyscrapers at level 2 to be able to unlock celluloid. So we have to do that first. And then to get paint, we have to deliver him 15 paint. I assume paint, lacquer. We need 15 investor skyscrapers at level 3. You haven't even gone to level three yet, so that's going to be quite a while away. Um, but I was just going to say about this, like, um, it seems like they're actually after giving... The only reason I'd be in any way slightly bothered about this, it's like, oh, well, you know, you pay for tourism DLC, you get access to certain things, and then to see that arrive in another DLC is a bit strange, but whatever. If you treat it as a season, I suppose it's not, not weird. Um... But maybe they just felt like there's just too many orchards instead of adding more all the time. So I can understand. It's just an in I just didn't expect it. Is all. So chewing a chew a chemical plant for chewing gum, and it has to be built in the new world, and it can produce chewing gum, ethanol, and celluloid. All right, over to the new world we go. Uh, so si this is actually the island we make cinnamon on, I think. Yeah, we've got two cinnamon coming in there. Now I think globally, I have it set so that everything we make is just evened out for. Oh no! Well, oh, hey, look at that! <laughs> we have more cinnamon than we need. That worked out. Uh, we could build it here, right? If we need that, then. Where is it? Chewing gum? Am I totally blind? There it is. Chewing gum. So we need cowchuck. Sugar refiners. Well, the good thing here is actually this island is full of sugar and it has cinnamon, but it doesn't have the cow chuck. Cow chuck would have to be delivered here. Or, and have, what does this take? 125 obreros. Oh god. Oh, we'll have to do it here then. I've got a little bit of space right around this area where the factories are. Uh, see, this island houses all the cinnamon anyway and everything. It's our, it's sort of like our depot island. Everything gets delivered here before it goes off somewhere else. So there's probably enough cinnamon and sugar and all sorts here already. Virtuoso. So let's just slam it down and see what we got on the island. Uh, yeah, that fits really well, actually. Does, do two of them fit here? Uh, maybe if we turn them lengthways to get rid of this fencing. Don't know if I'll need to, but just to have the room. Chewing gum. So Kauchuk, we have 300 on the island, 100 sugar and cinnamon. So what's the deal with sugar? We get that from... Let's find out. Sugar. Agri-supply. Comes in from both the other islands, wherever we can get it. Obviously, mainly it comes from this island, where there's 1,000 in storage. Then it goes... On a specialty route? It has its own route? Just to go to Lusk. That's weird. It's waiting to be picked up right now. This place getting mega busy. Um, if we go back to the old world, and I just want to have a... I'm trying to remember exactly where that sugar goes. I assume into lemonade or something, I think. Oh, you know what? I think it just goes directly to the home island as well, because... Yeah, so it's on the fine dining route. So it's being delivered there. It's 1,800 sugar on that island. So we're actually taking too much. Or taking in too much. Oh, I guess we'll just have to wait until it fills up. And then you get that natural backlog. Um, but it's going into the restaurants. Different things are being consumed. Okay. Easy enough to track that. Um, does that bode well for this? It does, actually. I think... Yeah, actually, that, that does bode well. 
Uh, as long as we have a minimum reserve that we're not taking. Uh, let's set it to be 200. So uh, that ship's not going to actually pick anything up right now. We're going to let this do its chewing gum business. And uh, we've got an excess of cinnamon, so that's fine. And the caoutchouc one is a bit more of a concern because I believe that goes to Lusk. And it gets turned into a, a variety of different things. Uh, but, and we also off, uh, supplement it on here. So that's neither caoutchouc there, 400. If I have a look at the trade history of this, we're bringing in roughly about 250 every time. I don't need to change that then. It's just going to take more from it. So again, more demands on steel. Everything I've done, assembly, um, the, what's it called? Sorry, the assembly factories, the toasters, this is all taking steel. So steel is, a lot more strain is just being put, thrown onto it there. Now we've got too many elevators probably now, and the, the fact that they're just used as a construction resource. But eventually these are probably going to be used for the other things, like biscuits that might, what else do they need? Tallow, citrus, and flour. Alright, so we can actually ease up. The typewriters will need steel though again. And brass. Oh man, heavy heavy industry. We do have ex an excess of brass over in Crown Farms though, so that could be brought here. All right, I'm not seeing anything too crazy yet. Nothing too crazy. Nothing extra convenient, super easy or convenient, but nothing too crazy. And what do we have? Furniture store, luxurious uh, skyscraper ornaments. What were they saying about a Galleria and stuff? I thought he said you could build something. I could have sworn he said there's like a building you can build for investors now. But I don't know what it is. Other than just the department store. Maybe we haven't got it yet? Actually. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, looking good. Uh, so basically, we'll just need to set up a new route. So we need two ships. Actually, we just made two ships. Didn't we? Uh, they are done. I don't know where they went. Oh, they're over here. New orders. Yeah, so these two ships can get their propellers put on them. Where are you? The ship is quite close by as well. On our way. Get the propellers put on them. One of them's going to stay local to the old world, and one will stay local to the new world and deal with any of these new things that we need to do, like move chewing gum. Um, yeah, so go from. Porte Benus to Lusk, delivering that chewing gum and hopefully delivering anything else that's going to be made over there, like celluloid I think it said, and then that other ship will then be here, dealing with all the skyscraper goods going into swords itself. Hold the crane. Alright, cool. So, just to reiterate on what I meant, to create a new route, a trade route, Starting at the New World, at Puerto Brus, uh, we're going to pick up, I assume, a consumer good? Is it consumer good? Yep. Picking up that chewing gum. We'll just leave it at 50 for now. Or maybe we'll put, um... Well, I think with just the one good, it will be, we will be able to pick it up every, every 50 deliveries. And then just bring it to the Old World, bring it to Lusk. Drop it off there. So that's just our holding bay island, right? This ship is just going to come in and out, come in and out constantly. Uh, so that's going to be... Well, I don't, I don't know, gum for now. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, really. And that's going to be new world to old world, except. And then after that, we make another route, trade route. Uh, we go from Lusk to... Wait a second. We did make a new route today. Oh yeah, delivering everything for... Yeah, so I can actually change this probably now. Let's get rid of that and that and that and that. And we can put in three other goods that will be used in the other factory thing later. So I'll just save that as a route. Sorry if that's confusing what I'm talking about. But anyway, you don't need to worry about it. It'll make sense probably in the next episode. So Lusk, we're going to pick up that chewing gum. If we can find it. Lots of chocolate here, by the way. Um... Yep, that's it. That's it. that's really all it is. And lots of room then for other stuff later. Yeah. So this is going to be called uh, Lusk to Swords 9. Stays in the old world. And that's all it does. Nice new music. So Lusk to Swords 9. 
Unfortunately, with my Roman numerals here, it's actually thrown it all the way down here, I guess. Maybe I should have just numbered them. Um, so that's just chewing gum for now. Yeah. That should be fine, though. I mean, it depends how greedy they are, how, what the demand is. Actually, I didn't even check that. So all islands, consumer goods. So Oh, it's tiny. We make two tons per minute, and we don't even consume one. So that seems like it's barely even anything. I suppose that we don't actually have that many. We've only got a couple of these buildings. So let's just speed it up. Let's wait for the trickle effect of that chewing gum, and then we'll call it there for this episode, and I'll be straight back with the next episode again. Um, and I'll probably do three episodes per week, by the way, just to get through some of the stuff a bit quicker. So this is going out on Sunday. Uh, I think I'll go back to Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, as I have before. So Wednesday is now going to be if I can get that Frostpunk save running again. <laughs> Such a mess. But basically the Frostpunk game that I've got going on, for anyone who's watching that series, um, it's I've reached an impasse, a bug that's happening where all my docks go offline, so I can't progress. People will just starve. But I, I can kind of do a workaround if I reload an old save and do something and then just progress. It just means going over something I've already done, which is a bit weird. But at least it would let me finish the series, which I'd like to do. At this point, I've been so inconsistent, I almost feel like it doesn't matter when I upload it. But if, as long as I stick to three days per week with this, I think it'll be fine. What is this? The, oh, she, Miss Jenny is waiting outside her building, is she? Looks nice, by the way. And then we could always move these and pop them over there if we wanted to. It's just that they would lose their panorama effect and lose their bonuses. So up to 204 already. It's pretty crazy, considering 64 is on the standard one. And this is going to give us 10 more engineers and 98 coins. And then they need the furniture. Now furniture... Let's just keep time moving, actually. It's going to be a while before we feel this trickle. Furniture is... You need 15 of level 3 skyscrapers. Oh man, we do need a lot. The other thing I might as well do then, while we're waiting, is pick up... Bring her around. Um, we now a lot more elevators. Required permit to expand. So grab as many elevators as we can and bring them all back here. I, I wonder, is there any new, um, uh, what's it called? Modifying items and stuff in this DLC? There wasn't with tourism. I think they wanted to keep things just as balanced as they could. I'll have to look into that as well. Construction material, 300. There we go. Elevators, 300 elevators. 300 tons of oh elevators is getting shipped in. I'm going to start basically turning all of this into like skyscrapers might look a bit odd around the um, hotels but I think it'll look fine probably won't do anything with these ones I think they're fine on their own maybe it wouldn't look too bad just going level 2 this is or level 1 I mean these are level 2 level 1 might be okay in some of the bottom ones along the edges here yeah that might look quite nice and then for the engineers I haven't really planned it out I, I think a lot of these could handle it down here by the docks these side buildings here. But I've kind of created my city with so many like random kind of openings and weird disjointed things like to make them look really nice. It doesn't really fit the... I just didn't... I didn't anticipate that that's what they would do with the whole panorama effect stuff. But it's good. Makes me think it a different way. We actually get three attraction value because of the Luminaries Park attractiveness on a bunch of different buildings. Service buildings. Influence is fine, though. I guess we're climbing influence because of the growing numbers. Did it go up to four? It actually didn't. Oh, we haven't hit 150, though. Maybe it will when we do that. It might be like... Yeah, I don't know, actually, <laughs> how much per, per household. Mm, yeah, I don't know. It's something like if it was one influence per, per 40, that might make sense, but that wouldn't really work. I can't These ones only have 55. All right, where's that gum? Let's track it down. So, has it arrived in Lusk yet? No gum has arrived in Lusk yet. And in the New Worlds, we've got two there. This ship is carrying 18. It's bringing it, bringing it to Lusk. So, not too long to go. Might as well get the other ship ready and in place, if we know that we're just waiting on that. 
which is where exactly where it is now. So it's right, right where it needs to be. All right, well, let's just speed up time. We'll just wait for the ship to come in, basically. This has been good so far. I'm enjoying it. A lot of um, repeat mechanics so far from tourism, but I'm assuming... Although the panorama stuff is new, and that's very cool. But the the general idea of like the multi-factory and the uh, consumer building that gives you effects, it's the exact same as tourism. And it's literally just like a different looking building, but does the exact same stuff mechanically. Uh, unless I'm mistaken. But... Um, I'm early yet, obviously, so we need to go a little bit further, find out more stuff along the production chain, see what else is in store for us in terms of quests, and how we get that monument built. So still waiting on this to come in. We'll just see if we can track it. There it is. 18 tons of gum coming in. Uh, actually, while I am waiting, another thing I can do is go up to Archibald and see what oh, else we can buy. I can finally let go that pent-up gas. Oh, that pent-up gas. Captains of industry. I don't really need anything like that. I'm looking for ship items like this. Not too many of them though. We've got loads of them. Uh, Want to get the the more rare version if we could find it. Why did that just change in front of my eyes? <laughs> what is this? An eye letting machine affects boot maker boot makers. When running errands for Her Majesty, I often find myself in Madame Gahina's exquisite company. So you have a little thing going on with Madame Gahina. Little fanfic Archibald background lore there. Well, it's not fanfic, it's in the game actually, but you can imagine some fanfic for that. I mean, I certainly can. We do know the type he's into, right? from Mbesa. <laughs> I am so sorry. All right, um, come on, give me another propeller. So stingy. Another good one. Jesus, come on. Really? Not even one more? It's 260 grand every roll now. <laughs> God, I hate this mechanic. I would pay 10 times more for the actual item if I could just get it directly, you know? Room to maneuver. Anyway, we probably have the uh, the thing now, so we can just speed this up. It'll go collect its gum. Hey! Oh yeah, it's just waiting. <laughs> it always bothers me that an airship... I guess it, it's taking up the loading bay. There's no one even there now. What's your problem? It's letting this one go ahead. What are you doing? Delivering clay. Hi. Oh my god. How slow is that? There we go. We have the 18 gum. Our prized possession. Carrier about. Alright, and I'm excited to see and eager to see... Well, I guess, actually, we have to upgrade a lot of houses before we'll really see this. But in the next episode, it'll be good. I'm just going to go through all these. Now that we've got all this New construction, this, all these elevators, we're pretty much ready and in place to... Oh, we ran out of souvenirs again. Everything is a nice, swift ride away. Hardly any effort to expend. I'm sure there's some on the way. Um, and if not, I'll look into why. But yeah, there's a lot of upgrading to do. I think I've got loads of construction materials, so that's not really an issue. Just thinking about it now, actually. Uh, hang on. I am I am curious about souvenirs. It's always it's such a struggle to get that one right. I don't know why. We always seem to run out of something with regards to it. Zero on the island that should... Sorry. Yeah, I've got some coming in. They just haven't arrived yet. I wonder, was there a hiccup or a slowdown in production? What's the problem? Your ships have to wait a long time here. Really? At Crown Farms? Not so long ago. I'd have dealt with this myself. That doesn't sound right. Why would you have to wait a long time? What's your problem? There's a pier right there. And there. And there. Hold the crane. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, they're waiting to load. They need to load to be full up. But for some reason, they've gone and both loaded. I don't understand how that's even happened. The reality of it hits you. That's strange. That's never happened before. 
Only I'm reporting in. Yeah, they load 200, and then the other one loads, and then waits to get to 200. Now have required permit to expand the campus. Hmm, strange. Right, anyway, has the gum arrived? The gum has arrived. 9 out of 10 engineers. Basically full. Um, and then the next thing is just going to be basically to Or, I say tomorrow. The next episode is just going to be me upgrading a bunch of these houses, getting that to level 15, unlocking all the next buildings, and progressing as quick as we can. I think we did a pretty good job, though. A lot of uh, the foundations of what I had in place seemed to work out well already. Although, like I said, I've been building a little bit without checking too much what's going on. As long as steel remains above, like, 2,000, I'm sure that's okay. And hopefully Docklands is keeping up with all of that. We've taken to wearing hard hats here. Logs seem fine, etc. The extra strain on brass is even holding out. I don't even know how that's happening, considering it was kind of low. So, yeah. All totally, totally fine. I see no challenge thus far. <laughs> I can't appreciate the art of others. Hey, you're buying way too much, okay? And I'm leaving you uncontested. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. A little bit of a long one, but it's good to be back. I'm, I don't mind doing a long episode if you guys don't mind, considering the absences and the delay for getting this DLC. Uh, next episode, like I said, just going to do a bunch of upgrades and progress with the tutorial chains and story chain for the DLC. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for all the support and the very kind words of people who were following and asking where the series was and stuff. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.